With Riverside FM, you can record online interviews with high quality audio and video compared to something like Zoom. I'll show you how easy it is for you to set up, how to edit your videos using the transcript view and the new way for you to clip your interviews easily for social media. Since this video is made in partnership with Riverside, you can click the link in the description and follow along with this tutorial. I'm now on Riverside FM because this is where we're going to sign up. You can see that they have some examples of what you can do with it, as well as some amazing testimonials from very popular figures from Mark and Gary Vee to Tim Cook. So let's just click on get started. Don't worry, this has a free plan and there's no credit card needed. Now that you're on the inside, you can see that it looks like this. And the first bright button that pops up is the go to studio. This is your first step to setting up your studio. You can see here, let's check your cam and mic. I'm going to change my camera to the cam link 4k and there you go. Now you can see me and I'll also set the microphone to this microphone I have right here for audio. I'm going to use the AirPods that I have in and you can see on the left, you can click on I'm not using headphones or I am using headphones. Now we can just click on join studio. The interface looks like this. So I'm on the left side and now I can just invite somebody else. And because I have no friends because I beat them all in a push up competition, I'm going to click on copy this link and I'm going to send it to myself on my other laptop. Here you have the second laptop and I'm just going to click on the link from this one on this laptop. I do the exact same setup as we did with a guest name and I'll join studio. All right. Now All you right. can see me on both screens on both screens and there I am on both screens. And you might see on the left screen, the input that comes from a guest that you will have on. It looks like the camera footage is a little bit low quality, but actually what they will do is process it after the fact to give you the highest quality. But before we actually start diving into recording, what we will do is go to the top right and check out the settings. And maybe you want to have extra quality. This is important because there might be some changes that you want to make. First, we have the recording mode. So this is video and audio. You can also do only audio here. We also have audio noise reduction. So this will reduce background noise like air conditioners and laptop fans for all participants. So actually my laptop fan is going right now. They have the audio sample rate of 44.1 or 48, as well as the video settings where the standard separate tracks record 720p. You can export composed edits in higher resolutions up to 4k. And you have the advanced option that is suitable for cameras that support 1080p and 4k recording. Mine actually does. So I can put it on there and you might see that the quality has been increased a little bit quality a little bit. And then we can set the frame rate. Actually 24 FPS is the only one that we can do on this setting and it has automatic internet backups. This could save your life if you get a high quality guest on and imagine your local recorder would actually shut off and the hour long podcast you did just completely lost. This has happened to me before. So this internet backup will save your life. Then they have transcription language where you can set it to, I think I read somewhere like a hundred languages, including Norwegian in here, which is awesome. Then recording start countdown timer. This is always handy and automatically start recording. If you want to have that setting on. Then you have the audience count as well that you can turn on and off in the general settings. We can set the name of the studio security to public and the video layout to centered or full frame in the design tab. We have studio logo, or you can even add your own logo here in the live stream settings. We can actually live broadcast to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and all these platforms. And the last setting here advanced actually pauses uploads, or you can even remove the studio from the dashboard. Lastly, the settings that you'll have on the right is remove background noise. You can also change the name of the recording test one as well as echo cancellation. So this might actually be a good fit for this room because it's a little bit echoey here. You see Greg has the 720p option here, and you can also click on echo cancellation for Greg, which is me sitting right here. And now we're on to the fun part, the recording, because I want to turn this interview into clips. Greg is going to ask me questions and I'm going to answer them 
and we'll see if the AI clip maker actually does a good job. So let's just click on start recording. As you can see, we get the countdown in the beginning and then we are off to the races. Now I have myself muted on this one and I'm gonna mute this to make it work, but obviously you don't have to do that. Let's try start asking some questions. So in a world overwhelmed with technology, what's the one thing people should do to stay truly connected with themselves? Well, the most powerful tool isn't in our pockets. It's in our practice. Just 10 minutes a day of sitting quietly, being mindful can revolutionize our relationship with technology and ourself. It's not about doing more. It's about being more with less. If you could give one piece of advice to someone feeling lost in their career, what would it be? Well, I think it's important to just embrace the detours. The path isn't always straight, but each twist and turn always teaches you a lesson. It's not a setback. Your unique journey with all its unexpected stops is what will set you apart and lead you where you want to be. Trust the journey even when the destination is not clear. In an era where everybody is chasing success, what's the real key to finding lasting happiness? Well, success is the journey, not the destination. But happiness is found in small moments along the way. It's not about the accolades or the finish line. It's about cherishing the everyday joys, nurturing relationships, and making peace with imperfection. True happiness is embracing life as it is, not as we think it should be. And there we have it. We did the entire recording. It's seven minutes long, and you can really see that when I'm on Riverside, I don't have the best internet, by the way, but the video quality is quite bad. But I actually feel good about that because I know that in the end, I'll get the highest quality output and it would be a lot worse if I just directly recorded straight in Zoom, for example. So now let's just click on stop recording and see what we got. Success recording is fully uploaded. I'm just gonna click on view recordings. And just like that, after a couple of minutes, it's literally uploaded to the cloud. Let's just see how it plays. I was having a lot of pauses and because- then we are off to the races. Now I have myself muted Whoa. on this one and I'm gonna mute this to make it work, but obviously you don't have to do that. Wow, it actually looks really good. But what happens when we try to edit the video, even with just captions? So you see that I didn't really have a consistent conversation because I was doing it again and again for the video itself. So there's quite a bit of breaks. So let me show you what this editor can do. The first cool tool in the top is called Magic Tools. Definitely wanna click that. And it has the remove all silences. So there's 268 seconds of silence. And you see that in the audio waveform bottom in the bottom. So let's just click on remove. So now you see that all the silences have been cut out and you can even see the audio that we wanna keep in. If you just wanna play this section. The most powerful tool we have is not in our pockets. And you may see that I had to do some double takes. Like for example, it's no. I can either click on correct, that can change it to something else, or I can click on delete. And in this case, I don't wanna have it. We can also jump around here as well to see if this is correct. I'll just take a quick second to go over the footage, highlight the things I don't want and delete them here as well. This makes it so easy to just go through, delete the things you don't want, like double takes. And as you may see, the second question, it actually added a chapter here. This will be important later, especially if your guest is a little shy, you can always like, let me do it one more time. I want a better answer. And it's so easy to just cut away the double take. It also added a chapter for the third question. So I've deleted a lot now and text editing is good, but you also have control over the audio as well. So you can always zoom in all the way. And for example, if the audio clip starts a little too early and it has some artifacts like this. Well, if you could give. So I just wanted to start if you could. And there the audio is perfect. The same goes if you just use the text, you will also get these small short breaks that it actually doesn't cut out perfectly. So if you see this, so the easiest way I've found is actually just hover over all the text that you think you might have deleted and just delete again. And now you see all these clips are gone. Well, I think it's important to just embrace the detours. Now that it's all cut up and nice, you might also see that the purple has a higher audio quality 
and the green from Greg, it's a little lower quality. Just listen to the samples. Technology, what's the one thing people should... And the good quality of sitting quietly, being mindful. The great part is when we click on share later, you can normalize the audio levels so both speakers have loud audio. Now that it's all clean, what about the options to the right? So first we have the track where you can see Greg and Andy. You can use audio only if they don't want their audio and you can drag to reorder the tracks. You also have a layout button where you can shift them from left to right to having some gaps to full frame AI that will adapt according to the speaker, the shared AI. So this one actually puts him in the top right and the split AI that creates an additional black box in the bottom. Let's stick with the side by side for now and check out the captions. Here you can add this type of caption and I'll just find a good part. And here you can see it in our pockets. It's in our practice, just 10 minutes a day of sitting quietly. Hey, that's not bad. I think I like this one even more. And then we have the background. So if I click on a background, nothing's actually gonna change, but you can see if I have split AI, this happens in the background. Actually, I wanna change it to the AI speaker. Lastly, there is logo where you can actually add a logo here. Say we'll use the Google logo and now it sits in the top. You can even move it around and you can resize it. Now that I'm ready to share, I'm just gonna click on the share button. I'm gonna apply the normalized audio levels. I actually don't wanna remove the background noise because I don't have that. I'm also gonna click on remove background noise and the watermark and click on export. It's now exported and this is how it looks like. So in a world overwhelmed with technology, what's the one thing people should do to stay truly connected with themselves? Well, the most powerful tool isn't in our pockets. Wow, that changed really well. So you can see that we have both speakers here going back and forth. Let's just check out one of them. If you could give one piece of advice to someone feeling lost in their career. Well, I think it's important to just embrace the detours. The path isn't always straight. Okay, I like that a lot. Can we turn it into clips? I'm gonna download the final version. I'm gonna click on upload recording. Upload recording, uploading it. Now you wouldn't have to do this if you did an actual podcast where you don't have immense amount of cuts like I did. And now I'm gonna use the magic clips feature. I'm just gonna click on it. And as you can see, they will do it in five steps. And this works even if you have a full length podcast so you can make clips faster. Just like that, it generated five clips for us. So here's the first one. It kinda got almost everything right, except I said a mistake here. So I'm just gonna click on delete here and this one turned out pretty epic. From the beginning, it looks like this. If you could give one piece of advice to someone feeling lost in their career, what would it be? Well, I think it's important to just embrace the detours. The path isn't always straight, but each twist and turn always teaches you. As you can see, ChatGPT is really good at these answers. And the main thing that I want to change is basically the black box around everything. So I can click on layout. And then I can click on the full frame. Once again, we can do the captions as well. And basically the entire clip is done. If you could give one piece of advice to someone feeling lost in their career. Well, I think it's important to just embrace the detours. Not bad. I'm just going to click on share. We can normalize audio levels and remove background noise. But since we already did, I'm not going to do it on this one and just export. But a clip is nothing if it's not uploaded. That's why we can go to the publish options. So here you can see you can directly publish on Spotify and they have this transistor as well. If I click on it, we can export this one to transistor and now you're on their website. I haven't tried transistor before, but it helps you publish your podcast everywhere from iTunes to Google podcasts to make the uploading easier for you. So you might be wondering what's the price? Well, I'm on the pricing website right now and as you can see, you get for free two hours of separate audio and video tracks, one off. This actually gives you unlimited single track recording and editing, watermark on exported files, up to 720p video quality, 44.1 kilohertz audio quality, and unlimited video calls. So it's actually quite reasonable what you can do for free, except the audio and video tracks. If you switch to the standard, that's 15 a month, 
you will actually get five hours of separate audio tracks per month. This is billed annually. If you go for the monthly plan, it's 19 per month. When you move to the pro plan, that's $24 a month, you actually get some significant upgrades like accept live call-ins, unlimited transcriptions, AI show notes, live chat support, and even a teleprompter. So is this for you and is it worth it? Well, I believe if you're a podcaster and you have special guests on, this is a no brainer that makes it a lot easier. Is it worth the price? To me, the headache of doing Zoom recordings and you try to have the audio levels correct and also not the video quality being super bad is such a big headache. And I would rather go with Riverside for this. And that's why I believe it's worth it to use one of Riverside's paid subscriptions. If you wanna get started today, click my link in the description down below for a 15% off discount so you can create higher quality videos. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.